day everybody thanks for stopping by this video here when you think of food and people feeding you do you think of aliens somebody does somebody decided that that's what I think about when I think about food and so they created space aliens grill and bar not to be confused with a bar and grill looks pretty good let's check this place out This is kind of cool, you guys. They got uh, curbside service. I wonder if it's only if you drive a pod, though. Uh, if you got a, you know, a space pod, if you can get that kind of service. And they've got all-you-can-eat barbecue. That's not bad. That's not a bad deal. I actually have heard uh, of two years ago, sometime around Super Bowl. So maybe somebody can do some research. But along Highway 94, somebody actually saw some space aliens in the sky, or not space, unidentified flying objects in the sky along Highway 94 somewhere. So maybe space aliens chose this location for a reason that spaceships might use I-94? I don't know. Anyway, first thing I've noticed is the smell as I'm coming in here. It smells really good, actually. It smells like barbecue. Open daily. Let's check this place out. Oh, that looks cool. This is kind of cool. From the opposite side of the doors, see the space aliens. The light shining through. <laughs> that looks really cool. All right, let's go in here. Oh, okay. First thing you notice as you come in is they've got some pretty cool space alien paraphernalia here. What are those, beating babies? I'm not sure what those are. Oh, the skateboarder, one's on a scooter. Like old school kind of vintage space alien toys. Top secret UFO based in Alaska. Space aliens captured by US Navy. Here's the other window. Some more space alien creatures. Those kind of look like GI Joes though, maybe. Some more of those guys down there. It's kind of a mean looking bobblehead alien there. Spaceship, oh, E.T. Home, home, home. Right as you walk in the front door here, they've got kind of a mean looking alien creature. He looks like an alien from the movie Aliens. He's not a fun looking alien, he's a nasty one. Got quite the little gift shop. I think they've got a section back there in Galaxy Games where you can get tickets and then you bring them forward here and then you get to pick out something fun, however many tickets you have. Pick up a t-shirt for your collection. Always good to have some alien shirts on hand. Oh, and you can't have uh, Space Aliens place without, oh nice, a Star Wars, uh, it's episode one. I thought it was cool until I saw it was episode one. Sorry for all you episode one fans out there, but that's cool, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Of course, the old school, the old school action figure, Darth Vader, open that up, all kinds of action figures in that thing. That thing is probably worth some money. You can have an out of this world birthday here, it looks like. Ah, Space Aliens. Got some of those claw games here. We're going to our seat now here. Do, 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 do. Ooh, look at that. Cool. Really? Okay. Oh. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay. I've now sat down in my little booth here. First thing I noticed about this booth is that it's awesome. They've got the old school like diner booth, which I love. Kind of looks like, you know, like an old 57 Chevy kind of thing. You know I love those if you watch my diner videos. And it's got this, laser beams. One of my favorite scenes in Goonies is when Chunk sees the laser beams in the attic. He's like, laser beams here. Anyway, so that's what I'm up to, Ralph. For like this entire time I'm gonna eat my food, I'm gonna be laser beaming it up. And here is the menu. Take a look at the menu here. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good menu. A Neptune barbecue cheeseburger looks like it might be calling my name. Planet of the Zombies taco. That sounds kind of good too. Alien burger. These booths are pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that. They've got kind of the frosted glass with the alien logos in there, along with the 57. I bet you any space alien out there has a 57 Chevy seats in it. At least they should. This is also right above my head. Right above my head is a, like a blaster. Got all kinds of cool stuff here. 
think I have settled on the wings from Planet X. Wings and I'll get some french fries. Just realized they have paying tribute to inner space. Anybody see that movie, 1987? Dennis Quaid, uh, Martin, Martin Short, I think. Good movie. Have some pretty unique aliens hanging out around here. They're kind of scattered all over the restaurant. It's kind of cool. I'm digging their, their way of displaying all of their little alien paraphernalia. Another blaster. These are kind of cool. Must be the same artist that's made all of these, but whoever it is, interesting. I like, a, like an old candle. This is pretty cool. You got a Yoda up there. Some sort of machine. Area 51 bobblehead, of course. I'm digging all the old school ET book. They got some cool paraphernalia in here. How many times can I say paraphernalia in this video, do you guys think? This is kind of fun. They have a little porthole here. You can look inside the kitchen. <laughs> kind of fun. Here's the kitchen. You guys are doing their thing back there. It's kind of cool. Even the lights kind of look a little bit alien-ish. These aliens are kind of reminding me of the guys from uh, uh, Men in Black. What a cool place. It's really, it's really fun. And up here they got a big mural of the galaxy. Got like a black light up there. I would love to do that in my ceiling in my house. I don't think Ashley would go for it. What do you think? Looks like this one might be a queen. Well that's cool. I guess my booth isn't the only one that's got a little thing. <laughs> that's really fun. These little energy balls on the booths. I wonder who made their models. They're pretty cool. Got a little bar and grill area. Here's the bar area. Pretty cool. Kind of see through the window here in this one. This is, I think, my favorite alien that I've found. <laughs> it's just kicking back, I'm watching some tube, surfing. Got like a surfing alien up here. And this guy is too, actually. He's maybe snowboarding. See his little board there? <laughs> and if you're gonna have aliens, you gotta have the neon lights. Galaxy Games. Love neons. Galaga Assault. It's like pretty, pretty powerful, crazy Galaga game. Holy cow. It's kind of fun. It's a little spaceship. You can get in that bad boy and take a ride. <laughs> That'd be fun. Don't think I can fit in that bad boy, though. What planet do you suppose that came from? Ah, oh, this guy's really cool, too. Some more sweet neon. I love the neon bar from Mars. Space alien backs Bush for president. Some more cool windows. I want everything that they have in these little space alien windows. Another crazy fish, crazy looking fish. I like it. My food has come and it is in the shape of a space alien cone. It's kind of gonna catch up, looks like little rockets. So that's kind of fun. Here's my wings and they smell good. They smell good. So let's talk space alien movies. What are some of your guys' favorite space alien movies? Of course, ones that come to mind for me are, you know, the ones that uh, Spielberg did in the 80s, things like Close Encounters of the Third Kind. That's such a good movie. Uh, of course, E.T. is great. Um, what are some of your guys' favorite kind of space alien movies? I'm trying to think of other ones. Uh, if you're in the mood for something that's kind of more Halloween-ish and it has aliens in it, there's a really kind of a, a funny movie called Space Invaders came out in 1990, um, and I'm not even sure, oh, you know what, the, the, the blonde girl from uh, Jurassic Park was in it, also the old guy, I think his name is uh, Royal Dano, um, he was in it, he plays like the old man in all of those old, like, 80s, like, kind of sci-fi movies, um, look him up, you, you, you'll recognize him right away, he's in a bunch, he always played like the old man on the farm with his dog, and he, he was in, um, 
think he might have been in uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. He was in Space Invaders. He was in like Ghoulies as like the old man, like the same character. He just played that character in so many movies. Royal Dano. Look him up though and watch those movies that he's in. He's, he's one of my favorite character, like side characters of like 80s movies ever. It's really cool. But what are some of your guys' favorite go-to alien movies? Um, what was that one that came out, like Fire in the Sky? That one was pretty cool. I remember that one came out a while ago. Um, there's so many alien movies out there. Of course, uh, Signs by M. Night Shyamalan. I really, I really enjoyed that movie, Signs. I usually watch that one, at least once a fall. It's really good. Of course, uh, you gotta put Mars Attacks in there. Mars Attacks, the old... Those, those guys are so hilarious, just the way they talk. And that, that movie, that was, it was made purposefully to look like a B-movie. Uh, but that movie is just great as well, Mars Attacks, and of course Predator. I mean, I don't even really consider that an alien movie, but technically it is an alien movie. Technically, another 80s movie uh, that was done by John Carpenter, one of my favorite movies, is They Live. And I think that was an alien movie. I think I think the creatures that were being covered up by the special sunglasses were actually aliens, were they not? So that's a pretty cool alien movie as well. Got some fun cow abduction alien themed photos going on here in the hallway by the bathrooms. <laughs> it's pretty funny. You spot the alien in that one? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Look out, cow. Here comes an alien. There's a pretty epic mural in this room. Some sort of space alien galactic battle going on here. It's intense. Alrighty guys, we're heading out. Had a good time at Old Space Aliens Grill and Bar. So definitely if you're in the area in Minnesota, just cruise on up north of the cities along I-94, uh, just after Rogers, before you get to Monticello area is Albertville and Space Aliens Grill and bar. Definitely worth coming to check it out. The, the hot wings I had were, were quite tasty. Very delicious. So um, that's all we got here today, guys. So I appreciate you guys watching this little vlog with me here. Space Aliens Grill and Bar, guys. So leave some comments below. Talk about some aliens and stuff. Until next time, we'll catch you later. Check you later. Check you later. Okay, bye.